Welcome back to Girls on Sunday. Azmir Begovic is our guest this morning. Great to have you here, Azmir. Lots of people getting in touch, uh, talking about the role of goalkeepers particularly and how it feels like the role of goalkeepers is changing dramatically. Um, from when you started to where you are now, certainly in the Premier League, how have you seen that evolution of what is expected of a goalkeeper and actually what they, they sort of now have to deliver in the team? Yeah, people expect to be a, a more complete goalkeeper now. Um, I think years ago when I came, first came to England, it was about shot stopping and a little bit of distribution, kicking maybe more more long. Whereas now, um, you know, every single part of your game is, is important. The shot stopping, cross taking, but high and low. And then of course, distribution as well. Starting attacks, uh, your starting positions, everything now is is so important to the game, the, how, how the game is being played, how fast it is, all the skills. Um, so from now, uh, the goalkeeper's game has changed completely mm. since one of the older years I've been here in England. Uh, the transfers we've seen, the prices we've seen coming into the Premier League uh, recently sort of feels mm. like goalkeepers are now being valued right up there with the strikers uh, in the team in terms of cost. I mean, we can have a look at, look at some of the most expensive goalkeepers as they were and you can see how much money has been spent more recently um, down to 2017. It just makes that Buffon uh, transfer in 2001 stand out dramatically, doesn't it? Yeah, of course. Um, I think it's obviously great to see the goalkeepers being valued more and more um, each and every year. I think a little bit, of course, is um, it's part of a reflection of the whole market. I think mm -hmm. players in general now are a lot more expensive, uh, not yeah. just goalkeepers. So, of course, you have to take that into consideration. But, you know, it's great for us goalkeepers to get the recognition. Um, we always feel like we're an important part of the team and mm. everyone else is, seems to think the same now. Is there less top-class goalkeepers around now than there was before? Arguably, um, you know, you, you could say that there is, you know, for top teams to, to get the right goalkeeper, it, there isn't probably hundreds for them to choose from. So um, they have a specific one that maybe fits that style of play as well and the manager really wants. And, you know, if it's that player, then of course the price will also be dictated by that. So, um, you know, I think the general level of goalkeeping is very, very high. It's so difficult now, um, the demands of a goalkeeper, the pressures that come with it. So. I think the level of goalkeeping overall, especially in the Premier League, is mm. incredibly high, and um, you know we're very hard workers, so we'll keep trying to keep it that, keep it that way. The goalkeepers who have the lowest percentage of passes going into the opposition's half, and you can see, you know, this certainly plays out for what we were talking about with those first two keepers, Edison yeah. and Kepa. You know, eight percent to the final third, fourteen percent. Where do you think you sit on the list? Uh, good question. I hope to be probably in the in the top half. I would imagine the way we play and uh, our philosophy. So. OK. But maybe not, I don't know. Let's have a look at your percentage. You're not quite the top half. No, just 12th in this, so sort of towards there, but 55 But I, as you say, it's all about managing the risk and the expectation yeah. as well, isn't it? Oh, I think Jordan Pickford is even further, and he's held up as one of the best keepers in the league and had a fantastic World Cup, didn't he? Yeah, of course. I think, well, that, that shows that we have a balance too. Mm. You know, we like to play, but at the same time, we don't overplay, don't, don't try and do something that's not on to force, force the issue. Like you said earlier, maybe the top teams have a little bit less pressure against them too. I think sometimes teams press us more than others and we have to be aware of um, mm. you know, what the other team's doing and their game plan.